the worst thing you can do is ignore any any potential risk from alien technology. And based on what you were describing, this could soon be the biggest story in the world. Uh, literally the biggest story in the universe. There's a specific kind of silence that makes people nervous. Not the absence of sound, but the absence of answers when you're expecting them. When something unusual happens in the sky, we want updates. We want clarity. We want someone official to tell us what we're looking at. With 3 Eye Atlas, that silence has lasted longer than anyone expected, and it's making people ask uncomfortable questions. NASA went quiet. The high-resolution images everyone anticipated from the Mars flyby haven't materialized in the way we hoped. Amateur astronomers are uploading better pictures than billion-dollar space telescopes are releasing. And in that vacuum of official information, speculation is doing what it always does. It's filling the gaps with theories that range from reasonable to absolutely wild. But here's the thing nobody wants to talk about honestly. If something genuinely catastrophic was heading our way, would they even tell us? Let me walk you through why that silence might mean absolutely nothing, or why it might mean everything, and how you'd actually know the difference. If you want to know why the media is pretending 3 Eye Atlas doesn't exist, hit subscribe. Because when an interstellar object enters our system and the only people talking about it are amateur astronomers, not newsrooms, that's not silence. That's avoidance. And the data coming in right now isn't speculation. It's evidence. Evidence you deserve to see. Imagine you knew with 100% certainty that something was headed toward Earth. Not might hit us or could be dangerous, but absolute knowledge that impact was inevitable and survival wasn't possible? Would you tell your family? Think about that for a second. Really think about it. If telling them wouldn't change the outcome, if there was nothing anyone could do, would you burden them with that knowledge? Would you watch them spend their final weeks in terror instead of living normally? You probably wouldn't, because that information, without the ability to act on it, becomes cruelty rather than kindness. That's exactly the calculation governments make with existential threats. If announcing danger creates chaos without creating solutions, silence becomes the more merciful option. Not because they're hiding truth maliciously, but because widespread panic serves no purpose when the outcome can't be changed. Now, does that mean 3 Eye Atlas is an extinction level threat they're concealing? Almost certainly not. But understanding this logic helps you evaluate why information gets released the way it does and when silence might actually mean something versus when it's just bureaucratic delay. Here's what people miss when they jump to worst case scenarios. Genuine catastrophic threats leave traces that can't be completely hidden, not because whistleblowers leak classified data, but because you can't coordinate silence across thousands of independent observers worldwide. Amateur astronomers don't work for NASA. They operate independently, sharing data openly, comparing observations across borders and institutions. If 3 Eye Atlas had changed course dramatically, if it was accelerating toward Earth, if its trajectory suddenly indicated collision risk, someone in that global network would notice and would talk about it publicly. The fact that amateur observations show the object exactly where gravitational predictions say it should be, following its expected path without deviation, tells you more than any official statement could. Independent verification matters infinitely more than government announcements because it can't be controlled or coordinated. You'd also see behavioral changes in leadership if genuine crisis was imminent. Not because they deliberately signal danger, but because humans are terrible at hiding fear consistently over time. When President Trump, who's on camera constantly talking daily, suddenly vanished from public view for a week, that would be a signal. When normally visible politicians started acting strangely, when their voices carried tension they couldn't quite mask, that would matter. Professional liars are still human. Sustained deception under existential pressure shows cracks. Let's cut through speculation and talk about what actually happened with this object, based on verifiable observations. 3 Eye Atlas is the third confirmed interstellar visitor we've detected. It came from beyond our solar system, passed through relatively quickly, and will leave again that alone makes it scientifically valuable. Every interstellar object we observe teaches us about conditions and chemistry in other star systems. It did cause some unusual solar activity that created auroras visible at lower latitudes than normal. That's documented, confirmed, completely natural. Interstellar objects can interact with solar wind and magnetic fields in ways that create observable effects 
None of that indicates danger. The image is released by ESA from the Mars, ExoMars, Trace Gas Orbiter were blurry and disappointing visually, but they accomplished something far more important. They refined the trajectory by an order of magnitude, giving us 10 times more accuracy in predicting where 3i Atlas is going. And that refined trajectory shows it following basic physics, moving predictably, posing zero collision risk with Earth. NASA's silence is probably just normal processing delays. High resolution images of fast moving targets require extensive calibration. Cosmic ray hits need removal. Quality assurance takes time. The government shutdown added bureaucratic delays. None of that is suspicious when you understand how these systems actually work. Amateur astronomers getting better images isn't shocking either. They're optimized for different things. A ground-based telescope with long exposure times can capture certain details better than a Mars orbiter, designed for geological surveys. That's not conspiracy, that's specialization. Here's what actually deserves your attention. Not whether 3i Atlas is secretly about to destroy us, but why we're so ready to believe that narrative despite contradicting evidence. Something unusual appears in the sky. Official sources process data carefully before making statements. In that delay, speculation explodes, creating elaborate scenarios that feel more satisfying than it's just an interesting comet following normal physics. We gravitate toward dramatic explanations because boring truth doesn't scratch the same psychological itch. A cover-up story feels more important than bureaucratic delay. Hidden danger feels more compelling than routine observation, but reality doesn't care about what feels satisfying. 3i Atlas is real. It's unusual in some chemical and physical properties. It's scientifically valuable for what it teaches us about interstellar space, and it's not a threat. The silence you are interpreting as suspicious is probably just the gap between public expectation of instant information and the actual pace of careful scientific analysis. Not everything mysterious is dangerous. Not every delay is deception. Sometimes a comet is just a comet, even when it comes from another star system. And sometimes the most important thing we learn isn't about the object itself, but about how we react when the universe reminds us how much we still don't understand. If you want real answers about 3i Atlas, watch the amateur astronomy networks. Follow independent observers. Compare data from multiple sources. That's where truth lives, in the convergence of independent verification, not in speculation about what governments might be hiding. The universe is strange enough without us inventing extra mysteries.